this a sign that the national government is not fully committed to devolution? Because from what we know, uh, the, the county governments should work autonomously, 24-7. There should not be delays in the funding they receive because they need that funding to carry out their duties. What is your take on why it's taking so long to get this uh, full funding from the national government? I, I, I thought that perhaps uh, maybe uh, some challenges at the national level because uh, you notice we've just been going through um, elections and uh, uh, perhaps uh, we needed to you know uh, be clear in, in terms of um, who is coming in as governors and uh, you know I, we, we have not been advised as to why there has been any delay in the releasing of funds. But okay. On my side, I needed to get ready with my revised budgets, and I, I was not ready until this past week. Um, so it's not been a very big challenge for, for us in Nigeria at all. Okay. My last question. You say it's not been a very big challenge, but I'm sure there are opportunities that the county has missed. There are projects that have lagged behind. Can you tell us in what ways has Nyeri suffered because of reduced funding? But also, can you tell us? When devolution fully works, what, can, what should Kenyans expect to see? So those are two questions. Maybe you can start with the first one. Uh, I, I think, uh, <coughs> I think for, for, for us in the area, I've not seen any, uh, any project that has uh, been, uh, you know, been, we've not lost any opportunity, actually, or to be very honest with you. Um, uh, we're just building our case. Um, as you notice, we just last week on Monday, we were able to swear in our, um, our you know, CECs. Uh, I, I am sure that I would not have been able to start to work without my team, and I needed to have that team in place. Now that I have that team in place, I need the money, and I hope that Nairobi will be able to release the money without any further delay uh, for us to move forward. In as far as the uh, benefit of devolution to people of Nyeri, um, we are a very hardworking uh, county, and uh, there is a lot of work that needs to be done when these resources are available and they are used optimally. We are going to have uh, improvements in across all the sectors. Uh, starting with agriculture and um, you know uh, we've got some very important cash crops that come from here our coffee our tea our horticulture and milk we got to get the yields to go up we got to get the quality to go up we got to get the prices to go up we will work with farmers and the leadership in the farming communities uh, so that um, every single one of these areas is improved when we have those resources we are able to build our own cold rooms we are able to build our own um, get resources to go to support uh, you know um, a coolers for milk we are able to help the farmers with uh, farm inputs, uh, fertilizers, um, whatever other material that is needed on the farm. You're able to give the farmer extension services uh, to improve on ev every single aspect of what they, it is that they do. And Nyeri is uh, basically a farming county. And uh, then we're able to sit down uh, with uh, stakeholders in tourism. Uh, for example, and uh, manufacturing, so that we can do value addition, we can bring, have, we have in Nyeri a uh, route table with the governor, so that we can talk to the leadership of various sectors, including tourism, okay. including okay. agriculture. Our condolences to the people of Nyeri County. Their governor died this morning following a tragic accident along uh, the Thika Moranga Highway, and once again, just passing out.